makes the bigger, tougher shots. And now the Lakers starting group. Andre Drummond is out there with Marquise Morris. Then there's Kyle Kuzma. Then it's Contavious Caldwell Pope. And it's Schroeder in at the one. And for the Clippers, they've got Paul George. Batum is out there with Kawhi Leonard. And there's Jackson. And it's Zubac in at the five down low. And Andre Drummond, the bucket on the assist by Schroeder. Drummond's got the scoreboard going with his first points of the night for the Lakers. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Outside Leonard, from past the arc. And that one is off. And the Lakers take it the other way. Kuzma passes to Schroeder, trying to get open is Kuzma. And that one's good, Schroeder. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. Schroeder against Jackson, passes it to Zubac. Ball's knocked loose. Here's Leonard, drilled from 11 feet out. Talk about someone who knows all the angles. Kawhi on the interior. Here's Schroeder, and he takes that one up and powers it through. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. No, but his teammates love that kind of energy, fellas. I mean, don't like this demonstrate leadership. Yeah, I love the court awareness from Kawhi there. Dependable at getting it to his uncovered teammates. Caldwell Poe passes to Drummond. And here's Kuzma. Schroeder outside. Here's Morris, and tonight he sends it right off the glass. And Zubac picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And early in the game, these sorts of plays really can set the tone. defense the Clippers and Drummond throws it down. Well, if there's a better rebounder in the league than Drummond, tell me because I'd like to know about him. His work on the offensive glass is huge for them. Now here's Jackson. Fires from the wing. Zubac no good. And Caldwell Pope gets the basket. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. And see what Contavious Caldwell Pope changing his approach before last season. He, he knew he wouldn't need to take on as much of a scoring responsibility. Yeah, and I'm one of team players, yeah. I mean, KCP rededicated himself to defense. He tries to do more with less touches now. And that's the mindset you need to have playing with stars going for a championship. Here's Leonard following the bucket by the Lakers. Jackson dishes to Batum. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. Four on the shot clock. Over Morris. A shot by Batum. No good. Here's the Lakers with the ball. They're on a 12-4 run. Schroeder, Caldwell Pope trying to break free, and he can't extend the lead to double digits. Clippers trail by eight. Outside Jackson. Inside. Batum, good. Even when the defenders are crawling on Batum, he gets the job done. Knowing he can use his lift to get off any shot he wants down there. Now here's Drummond. Schroeder outside. Goes back up. And there's the nice layup by Drummond. Drummond's got his third basket of the night. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Zubac gets to Jackson. But they recover it. Batum passes to Zubac. A putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. He's finding some good shots early on. And what you like about it, he's not trying to do too much. And it's Schroeder with the ball. He brings it up for the Lakers. Six-point game. Morris inside, defended by Batum. 
Morris passes to Caldwell Pope. Six to shoot. Drummond working against two bucks. And that will be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. You're perhaps the most physically dominant player in the league, Andre Drummond. This combination of size, strength, and speed is unmatched. Lakers shooting their first free throws of the game. Numbers last year for them, just about 73%, so the bottom third of the league. And he makes the first. throws good for Drummond. Clippers trail by eight. Outside Leonard. Shoots over Kuzma. He goes up again and the layup good by Batum. Batum's got six. Just doing the job on the backboard. Kuzma passes to Schroeder. Drummond. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Jackson looking around. A three from Leonard. It's Drummond with the rebound. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. A wide open look here for Kuzma. Off target from outside. The Clippers have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the opening tip. And Batum kicks to George. Fires the three. Gets it to go from beyond the up. Man, I love the floor spacing George gives you. His range seems to extend a little every year. Here's Schroeder. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. The V just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA. The lead is what it is right now. The coaching staff has to be upset. You can't give the opposition easy baskets like this. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Awful display for him so far. But you know he's going to keep working to try to turn it around. And, yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. Eight points for him. Such a consistent night for him from the field. Whenever they've needed it, he's been their safety valve. A three from Leonard. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. Yeah, that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Here's Kuzma. Offensive rebound. Morris kicks to Kuzma. And that'll be the Lakers as it goes out of bounds. Lakers retain possession. Yeah, gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. Uh, appreciate the effort, though. Making his presence felt defensive. And it's Schroeder missing. Uh, uh, team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy. And theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. His offensive skill set is off the charts. He has more than a few ways to punish. Schroeder looking around. He feeds it to Drummond. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got six assists now in the game. He's pulling out all the tricks this court. They can't figure out how to stop him. Now, here is George. This one for three. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. That's a look they always want him to take. Because if he's got the space, he's got the green light. And here's Schroeder. He's got eight. Good work there as it goes. Their interior has been inferior defensively. It has got to tighten up. Jackson against Schroeder. On the pass to Zubats. Over Drummond. Zubats, no good. Lakers leading by five. Here's Drummond. And he banks in the lane. 
Rollins got 14 points. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Now, here's Zubas. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And George gets it to go. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Here's Schroeder. Ten points for him. He scores a six bucket from the floor with that one. He's shot the ball 11 times. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Outside Jackson. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. A shot by Batum. No good. The Lakers shooting very well. 58% the offense is falling right now early for them. Clippers trail by six. Now Kuzma. Here's Schroeder. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. And pushing it up, here's the Clippers. Batum leading the charge. And it's Leonard missing. The Lakers on offense. Here's the floater. And there's Morris. That's good on the assist by Kuzma. And the Lakers lead by eight. Yeah, off to a strong start here early. Six points off second chance buckets. And here's George for three. The Lakers with the rebound. Morris has got seven rebounds in the game. Bobbed up there for Drummond, and Drummond throws it down. Wow, Drummond leaving the floor so quickly. The chemistry he has with his teammates on these alley-oops is very impressive. Jackson against Schroeder. George looking over the floor. A three-pointer, no good. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. No doubt, Greg, you were known being a pretty in-your-face defender. And when you think of the most hard-nosed point guards in the NBA today, who comes to mind? For me, I think Chris Paul, I, I go first because this guy, one, he's a phenomenal two-way player. He'll do whatever it takes to win, if, even if that means pushing the envelope a little bit. Pat Beverly is another guy, yes. just a flat-out bulldog. Marcus Smart, I think, falls into that category. Again, it's not always about being the most talented, but if you bring an edge about you, that really permeates throughout your team. So those are some guys. Drew Holiday is another guy I throw mm -hmm. into that mix as well. Yeah, they all lock in. You're right. Andres Hill, he's checked in for Andre Drummond. And Caldwell Pope drops them both. Uh, his free throw shooting is something they never need to worry about. He doesn't even know how to go through a coach. From deep, George looks good, is good. Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. But the D didn't do a good enough job on it. He could be an ace when he gets a good look at three. Got that one up quick. All well, Pope's got nine. And they've done the job on the offensive glass. George with the ball. Picked up by Kuzma. A three from Leonard. And another three for the Clippers. Here we go. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Talk about great competition going on. That's what makes a matchup like this so much fun to watch. Count it. 14 points for him. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to sum it up. A little more sense of urgency. Deep, George, that's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Bounce pass, Schroeder. Here's Harold. Boy has tried to free himself up, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. You know, teams look for plus sixes. Players whose wingspans exceed their height by a half foot. Montrez Harrell is a 6'7 player with a 7'4 wingspan. If you're struggling with the math, ladies and gentlemen, that's a plus nine. First one drops. And 
both free throws, good for him. Man, they are just living at the line. Clippers trail by 10, outside Leonard. Leonard draws the double. Zubac, the best to Batum, goes to the reverse layup and taps it in. Batum's got eight points. Oh, he's got a roll in this quarter, taking it on himself to guide their offense. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Schroeder. Yes, indeed, it is good. He's now eight for 14. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. And here's George for three. Here's Zubox. He gets that one. There's that pass that he is battling with every ounce of energy he has. Here's Schroeder. 16 points for him. Fires at the elbow. They get it back. Morris is a physical guy. Solid is staying active on the boards and gobbling up these rebounds. A big-time effort for Dennis Schroeder, providing a lot of energy for the Los Angeles Lakers. Setting up teammates, 